In this video, I'll show you how you can change the background within your browser for your Adobe Captivate projects. Okay, so here's the problem. Responsive design in Adobe Captivate works really well. And you can, of course, control the width entirely through breakpoints, but one of the things, though, that is always going to be fixed is your height. So here's my e-learning project running within a browser window. And if I was to simulate, and this is something you can do in Chrome, if you go into the menu system and go into more tools and get into your developer tools, you can see what this page will look like using this little icon here, Toggle Device Toolbar. So let's turn that on and let's put this into, let's pick a particular device. Let's say you've got an iPhone 6. So there's what this project looks like on an iPhone 6. There's the full width, which is great. It does a fine job of adjusting from left to right. But notice that you've got all of this white space down here. And that's not great. That's not a, a really awesome user experience for your end users. So how do you fix that? Well, you could adjust the height of your e-learning project from here uh, and you know adjust the device height from the properties panel, but then it's not going to account for those smaller devices. An iPhone 6 is relatively large. Well, there is a way that you can deal with that, and I think it's a pretty effective way. Let me take you through that, that process right now. So if I'm going to adjust the background color of my browser, I can line it up to match the color of my project. So if I go into the project drop-down menu, and I can select either Shift F10, Table of Contents, or Shift F11, the skin editor, it doesn't matter, it brings me to the same window. And you know, here you can see our demo project here. And if I click on this middle icon or tab, I'm not sure what the right word is for this uh, interface function here, you'll see that you've got the show borders section. Now, of course, it's all grayed out. I can't change, I can't add borders to a responsive project. But what I can do is I can select the HTML background and it's got an eyedropper and I can select a color from the interface itself. I would recommend something that, that blends it in well, like this dark. And what's going to happen now if I was to publish this project, let's just do that. And we'll just publish it and then preview it. So now what happens is that the background matches the foreground of your e-learning project. And yes, you can't necessarily tell where the edges of your e-learning project now are, but the advantage is that if we were to look at this project on, let's say that iPhone 6 example, and let's just go back to our developer tools here. Yeah, you can see, so on the iPhone 6, this space that was previously all uh, white and stood out and was ugly and it didn't match your interface now blends in perfectly with the e-learning project. Now, of course, your your controls are going to be raised up from the bottom of the screen, but I think that's far more desirable than having a big blank spot at the bottom of your e-learning project. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you or your organization need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. You can find out more by visiting my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. To get notified of new videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel.